Hi and welcome back to Class Site Investigation. Hope all of you are fine and excited to continue our class. Let's continue our Chapter 3 on Part 1 Earthwork. We will be classified four type of condition soil during earthwork. 1. All kind of soils, generally any strata such as sand, gravel, silt, clay, peat. 2. Ordinary rock, generally any rock which can be excavated by splitting with crowbars and does not require blasting for excavation such as limestone, sandstone, hard laterite, hard conglomerate and unreinforced cement concrete below ground level. 3. Hard rock, generally any rock or boulder for the excavation of which blasting is required such as quartzite, granite, basalt. 4. Hard rock, blasting prohibited, soil and rock are the materials that make up the crust of the earth. Generally during earth work soil will be characteristics as per below. Trafficability, is the ability of a soil to support the weight of vehicles under repeated traffic. Loadability, is a measure of the difficulty in excavating and loading a soil. Units oil weight. Soil unit weight is explained as kilogram per cubic meters. Unit weight depends on type of soil, moisture content and degree of compaction. Moisture content, a percentage that represents the weight of water in the soil divided by the dry weight of the soil. Formula moisture content has per shown in equation 1. Let's do example question for determine moisture content. Example 1.1 a soil sample weighed 54.4 kg in the natural state and 45.3 kg after drying. The weight of water in the sample would be 9.1 kg. Calculate the moisture content of the soil. The solution of the example 1.1 is Using equation 1 to determine the moisture content. 54.4 kg of soil minus with 45.3 kg dry soil divided by 45.3 kg and multiplied by 100. So, the answer is 20%. In soil volume change characteristic considered soil conditions, swell, shrinkage, load and shrinkage factor. All soil have three component air water and solid or soil grains as per shown in figure 1.2. Three place and term are by the way on construction industry are the bank, the loose and the compacted in unit cubic meter. Let's consider the bank is material in its natural state before disturbance, in place, and term called bank cubic meter, BCM, is used to identify all soils in that location. The loose is material that has been excavated or loaded called loose cubic meter, LCM. The compacted is material after compaction and called compacted cubic meter, CCM. Swell. An increase in the volume of soil when it is excavated because the soil grains are loosened during excavation and air fills the void spaces created. As a result. The unit volume of soil in the bank condition will occupy more than one unit volume after excavation. Swell may be calculated as follows equation 2. Weight per bank volume divided by weight per loose volume minus with 1 and multiplied by 100. Let's do example calculation. Example 1.2. Find the swell of a soil that weights 1,661 kg per meter cube in its natural state and 1,186 kg per meter cube after excavation. The solution is Weight per bank volume equals 1,661 kg per meter cube. Weight per loose volume equals 1,186 kg per meter cube. Using equation 2 for determined percentage of swell is 1661 divided by 1186 minus with 1 and multiplied by 100 equal 40%. So, 1 BCM will expand to 1.4 LCM after excavation where increased 40% or 0.4 from 1 BCM, shrinkage. 
a decrease in the volume of soil when it is compacted because some of the air is forced out of the soil's void spaces. The soil will occupy less volume than it did under either the bank or loose condition. The shrinkage will be determined and calculated by using equation 3. The formula shrinkage is 1 minus to weight per bank volume divided by weight per compacted volume and multiplied by 100. Let's do sample question problem for easier to understanding. Example 1.3 Find the shrinkage of a soil that weights 1661 kg per meter cube in its natural state and 2077 kg per meter cube after compaction. The solution example 1.3 is Weight per bank volume is 1,661 kg per meter cube. Weight, compacted volume is 2,077 kg per meter cube. The shrinkage is 1 minus to 1,661 divided by 2,077 and multiplied by 100 equal 20%. So, 1 bcm will shrink to 0.8 ccm when compacted were decreased 20% or 0.2 from 1 bcm. Load and shrinkage factor. Load factor is used to convert loose volume to bank volume. The formula for the load factor shown in equation 4 is. Load factor is weight per loose unit volume divided by weight per bank unit volume or 1 divided by 1 plus swell. While, shrinkage factor is convert spank volume to compacted volume. The formula for the shrinkage factor shown equation 5 is. Shrinkage factor is weight per bank unit volume divided by weight per compacted unit volume or 1 minus with shrinkage. Typical values of unit weight, swell, shrinkage, load factor, and shrinkage factor for some common earth moving materials are shown in table 1.1. Let's do example calculation for determine load factor and shrinkage factor. Example 1.4. A soil weights 1163 kg per LCM, 1661 kg per BCM, and 2077 kg per CCM. A. Find the load factor and shrinkage factor for the soil. B. How many bank cubic meters, BCM, and compacted cubic meters, CCM, are contained in 593,300 LCM of this soil? The solution for the example 1.4 is. Load factor will be determined with using equation 4 is 1163 divided by 1661 and the answer is 0.7 for load factor. Then, shrinkage factor will be determined with using equation 5 is 1661 divided by 2077 and the answer is 0.8 for shrinkage factor. So. Bank volume is 593,300 LCM multiplied by 0.7 load factor equal 415,310 BCM and compacted volume is 415,310 BCM multiplied by 0.8 shrinkage factor the answer is 332,248 CCM. Let's do additional example. Example 1.5. A soil weighs 1,471 kg per meter cube loose, 1839 kg per meter cube in place and 2,090 kg per meter cube compacted. A. Find the swell and shrinkage. B. Find load factor and shrinkage factor. C. If an earth fill dam requires a compacted volume of 4.6 times 10 power of 6 cubic meter of the above soil, how many loose cubic meter of this soil must be hauled to construct the dam? The solution for the example 1.5 is. For question example 1.5a. The percentage of swell will be determining with using equation 2 is. 
1839 kilogram per cubic meter divided by 1471 kilogram per cubic meter and minus with 1 and multiplied by 100. So the answer is 25%. Then, the percentage of shrinkage we'll be determining with using equation 3 is 1 minus with 1839 kilogram per cubic meter divided by 2090 kilogram per cubic meter and multiplied by 100. So the answer is 12%. Then, for question example 1.5b. The load factor will be determined by using equation 4 is 1 divided by 1 plus 0.25 swell value in decimal. The answer is 0.80. Then, the shrinkage factor will be determined by using equation 5 is 1 minus with 0.12 shrinkage value in decimal. The answer is 0.88. Lastly, for question example 1.5c, determine loose volume. For general equation, compacted value equal with bank volume multiplied by shrinkage factor. So. Bank volume is compacted volume divided by shrinkage factor. The solution is 4.6 times 10 power of 6 cubic meter divided by 0.88 shrinkage factor and the answer is 5,227,272 bcm. Then, the loose volume will be determined as bank volume divided by load factor. The solution is 5,227,272 BCM divided by 0 0.80 load factor value and the answer is 6,534,091 LCM. We will use three phase diagrams to illustrate how as oil changes during the earthwork process. In its natural state at the borrow pit, a given amount of soil will contain certain amounts of mineral solids water and air. When we excavate the soil in preparation for hauling, it will undergo some changes. The amount of solids and water won't change as we excavate the soil and place it in the dump truck. But its total volume will increase because the excavation process will loosen the soil. If the solid and water don't change, the only way the total volume increases is if the volume of the air increases. We call phenomenon is bulking. After the dump truck in the boro area is full, its transport sits low to the stockpile area where it is dumped or sorted into one or more stockpiles. The total volume of solid doesn't change significantly from transport to being stockpiled. And certainly the volume of solid material doesn't change in the stockpile. The water, however is a different matter. The water content may or not may change while the soil is stockpiled. If the water is hot and dry, water may evaporate from the soil, reducing the water content. If there is precipitation, the amount of water may increase. We don't really know for sure how the water content will change in the stockpile. It depends upon the weather and how long the soil is stockpiled. When the material is needed for fill, it is transported from the stockpile to the fill area for placement. There is no significant change in the total volume or amount of solids in the process. Recall, we want the soil to be at an optimal water content for compaction before starting the compaction process. This will often require water conditioning. If the stockpile material is drier than the optimal compaction water content, the water must be added by spraying the fill with the water truck. If the stockpile material is moister than the optimal compaction water content, then it must be disked and allowed to dry out. After moisture conditioning, the soil is compacted. There will be no change in the volume of the solids or the volume of water during compaction. However, the total volume of the soil will be significantly decreased by compaction. Since the water and solids are not changing, the only way there can be volume change is if the volume of the air decreased. This volume decreased from stockpile to compacted soil is called shrinkage, which isn't a really good term. This oil isn't shrinking, we're pounding the heck out of with some really heavy equipment. Still that the term that's used to describe this volume change. 
Notice that only thing that doesn't change during earth work process is the volume of the solids. The water content will increase and decrease during the process. The total volume will definitely increase from its natural state during excavation. And, will definitely decrease from its state in the stockpile to its final compacted volume. Generally, the total volume of the compacted fill will be less than its total volume in its natural state as shown. However, if the natural soil is very dense, the compacted fill might have about the same volume or even more than the original volume. However, that's not often the case. 